Hi Scorpio, it's me, it's Julia with Scorpio Squad. For those of you that are new, for those of you returning, this is a Strictly Scorpio channel. If you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe and turn your notification bell to all so that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Uh, make sure to smash that like, you guys, so other Scorpios can get their messages and know about our channel. Um, today is December the 8th. Everything that you need is listed down below. Where to get a live tarot card reading. If it's your first time calling, make sure you use my name, Julia, as the promo code. They are my own private tarot card readers. Um, as far as social media, it's only the links down below, so be careful of imposters. And also, you can join me over on Patreon if you want early access to bonus love readings for the sign of Scorpio or VIP chat or um, early access to weekly pick a card. My Amazon Christmas list is listed down below. You guys asked me for it. Um, and I thank you so much for thinking about me over the holidays. If you want a lot, um, not a live, a personal love reading from me, you can only book it through my website and pay for it there, okay? Because there are imposters reaching out to my people saying that they're me, asking if you want a reading to send the money somewhere. It's not me. Only through my website where I also have clothing and manifestation candles there, okay? You can find it listed down below. It's heartpassiontarot.com, okay? With that being said, let's get your reading started. I changed up some of the decks. Um, we're going to be using Lover's Oracle today and Psychic Tarot, and then our normal deck. All right, here we go. Let's see what messages you have in regards to love. For Scorpio, please, in regards to love, what messages does Scorpio need to hear in regards to their love life, or what would their person like to say to them? For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. Okay, that flew out. For Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. It would never be a reading if your cards don't go flying out. What does their person want them to know? Okay, let me go get the card that fell down. The card down. Okay. So take what's yours, leave the rest. For the others okay if it feels like it's yours then it's yours forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform You also have a new beginning, a new adventure at Waits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. That's from your person. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on all right Scorpio those were your messages okay um, let me go to the um, psychic tarot and let's see what we've got for the sign of Scorpio for December the 8th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the sign of Scorpio. Dear angels, spirit, white light, please come into this reading for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Now these are just messages that are coming from spirit. Take what's yours, leave the rest. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, for December the 8th. I love you, Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We thank you, angels. All right, Scorpio. You're going to have a disruption, like a tower moment. Okay? I feel when you are at the point where you're having material and spiritual prosperity somebody is coming into your home or visiting your home who's deceptive be 
careful. A lot of you could be waiting for the perfect moment to speak up when it comes to a particular situation for Scorpio, please, for Scorpio for December the 8th. Um, you're kind of nervous about having this conversation that you want to have with someone. I don't know what it's about. Um, it could have to do with speaking to a Virgo here, or it could be a Virgo that's waiting for the right moment to speak to you could be a Gemini as well um, this person is actually waiting for you to speak up so that the two of you can come together into union could be roles could be reversed for Scorpio please for Scorpio prosperity begins when you come together with this person for Scorpio and it's all about planting a firm foundation. The two of you may even buy a home together. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, for December the 8th. What messages do I have? Oh, God. Scorpio, I love you. <laughs> Cards down. I gotta go get them. <laughs> oh my, Scorpio. We got four cards down. Here we go. So there will be some financial and material changes, okay? But with these changes comes fulfillment and your wishes coming true. You're actually going to be somewhere in nature, I feel. You may buy a house outside of nature where you're going to be able to get some rest and rejuvenation, okay? You may decide to just pull back your energies, right? And, you know, maybe emotionally you'll be withdrawing from everyone for a moment. Um, they're saying for you to choose wisely what your next move will be, okay? But what's guaranteed is material harvest and spiritual strength for you, Scorpio with whatever this change is that you're going to make. You may decide you no longer want to do what you're doing. For Scorpio, please, for Scorpio. Okay. So in the near future, there could be an authority figure Um, that may cause you some conflict here, some worry. But you need to get yourself uh, centered, okay, for a new beginning. Could be dealing with an emperor as well. Uh, somebody who may uh, play mind games with you or try to control you somehow okay I feel you have this new beginning and it's with spirit and it's going to be um, a very fast movement you know because you'll you'll be able to foresee the future you have triumphant success you are the Empress here Okay? You may end up cutting somebody out of your life as well. Maybe somebody who's too controlling or you feel is mentally not well. <laughs> Just saying. There, I don't know who that was for. You will be. You'll have a victory here. You may be dealing with an emperor right now who's going through conflict and despair. And is really trying to think about what their next move is. I feel they're going to try. I'm reading it differently now. They may uh, actually get through this and have a new beginning. Okay. And come towards you because they can foresee the future. 
Um, for my empresses out there or emperors, you will be, if you've been waiting for success or to have, to get noticed or to get recognition, you will have it. And I have a feeling it's people that are in the light, light workers, speakers, healers. That's who this message is for. For Scorpio, please, for December the 8th. Okay, I feel I'm talking to a Scorpio that's going to sacrifice a lot of themselves for the universe. Um, and with this sacrifice that you're going to make, positive movement will be, you have positive movement forward for Scorpio. For Scorpio. There will be partnerships and alignments, alliances formed with other people, like-minded people. And it's all about the truth, Scorpio. You speaking their, your truth, them speaking the truth. Some of you are suffering in silence right now. There's somebody that you're missing very much. And you're afraid to reach out to this person because you're afraid they may reject you. Listen to your intuition. And stand your ground, Scorpio. Okay. So there's movement and choices and decisions to be made. Make sure those decisions are not based out of fear. They want you to stand in your power and find your balance, Scorpio. Here you are. This is you, Scorpio. Transformation card. For Scorpio, please, for December the 8th. I feel with this transformation, you're going to feel a little discontent, bored. Here. Or you may be dealing with somebody like that. Listen, I feel you need to open up your heart, okay? And go towards your destiny. Instead of sitting in solitude and trying to protect yourself. Because you are thinking about somebody a lot. And you're missing them. And you know they're missing you too. Spirit is saying that somebody is patiently waiting and they're planning to come towards you, Scorpio. Okay? Let's go to the next deck. Let's see what messages come out for you there. For Scorpio, please, December the 8th. Happiness is on its way to you, Scorp. Something that's very passionate is coming into your life, which is going to um, transform you and bring a lot of healing. It comes from a friend, somebody that you're friends with. For Scorpio, please. Ooh, right now you're very inspired and you're inspired by um, wanting to make more money your focus is there I also feel though whoever is feeling like this you're trying to control your feelings that you have for somebody here You need to trust that whoever you're holding back from, Scorpio, is feeling exactly like you. They're missing you, too. And actually, they're doing exactly the same thing you're doing. 
trying not to think about love and focus only on money. For Scorpio, please, for Scorpio. Like I said, somebody's really um, focused on the future right now. They're being triggered towards the future um, and the love that they have for their empress. Somebody sees you as the empress, Scorpio. Emperor, empress, doesn't matter. Okay, so someone's going to get a download about having this new beginning, taking that leap of faith. It's something that they see in a dream. Um, it could be them coming towards you so the two of you can work on something together. Okay, this person knows you're very smart, Scorpio. Somebody's been thinking about you a lot here with the root chakra, and they're thinking about traveling towards you. What other messages, please, do you have for Scorpio? Scorpio, the divine is stepping in when it comes to your love life. Okay, one cycle is closing and another one is beginning. Okay, I feel fear is going to come in because it's somebody that you've already dealt with. There's a choice that needs to be made. If it's not you, it's your person. Virgo, Gemini, doesn't have to be. It could be a, somebody who's a very good manifester. But things are changing and somebody has this nervousness about coming towards you okay so they're trying to get that under control they may not be well and they're trying to get themselves better for you here i mean i'm saying virgo because i'm seeing the magician scorpio you too may be trying to get yourself in better shape you've got a new beginning here Wow. You got a new beginning here, Scorpio. Male or female, doesn't matter. You're in separation with somebody. They're coming towards you to speak their truth. It is your soulmate, your twin flame. Somebody definitely sees a future with you. You just have to be a little bit more patient and believe in divine timing. But somebody clearly wants to put things back into balance with you. They want to marry you, and they want to come into union with you, Scorpio. Could be a Libra. For Scorpio. Could also be an Aquarius. They're telling me. Leo. There you go. You see? This person's manifesting you. Okay? There will be communication. There's a message coming. Yes. This person's going to tell you the truth about the karmic. That they were with. They're going to speak up. Finally. So. Whatever this conversation is going to be. I feel it's going to bring you a lot of inner peace. A lot of inner peace. This person is very grateful for you. Okay. It's going to be up to you to listen to your intuition with whatever is going to be communicated to you here. These secrets that have been held back from you. Alright? And then you can decide whether or not this person is telling you the truth or not. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, angel, spirit, white light, give us clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio for December the 8th. Okay, Scorpio. Your message just came out. Okay, Scorpio. So you need to take the lead then. And whatever it is. Come up with a plan and take the lead. And make stuff happen now. No more procrastinating. I know there's something that you've been dying to get started. Spirit's saying, just come on, you know. Come to us. Come with that idea. Ask for our help and we'll help you create whatever this is that you want to create. And I feel that it has to do with your spiritual path. Something that you want to do there. And 
open to infinite possibility, you see? I feel like once you start moving on this project, things are just going to just fall into place for you. But you have to be, you know, don't try to copy anybody else. Sing your own song, Scorpio. You know what I mean? Do your own thing. Be different from everybody else. And trust in divine detours. You may think things are going to go one way. They may go somewhere else, but it'll be for your own good. Okay? So, there may be some unexpected turns here and there. Okay? Or maybe you were thinking you were going to do things a certain way or be a certain place, and now all of a sudden you're saying, you know, hell no. <laughs> I want to go somewhere else. I want to go do something else. Okay? That's all the divine taking you down a different path. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings, and I'll see you again tomorrow. You all take good care of yourselves, and be careful for me out there, okay? Be safe. Love ya. Bye, gang, gang.